Since the earliest days of human consciousness, the night sky has been our first canvas. When our ancestors stepped out from the shelter of their caves and into the cool darkness, they saw a sky filled with glittering stars, so distant, so constant, that they seemed eternal. In those points of light, they found something more than just twinkling suns. They found meaning, mystery, and a language written in fire and shadow. Those distant lights became the first storytellers. They were the eternal clock that measured the passage of seasons and the beacon that guided travelers across land and sea. But above all, the stars were mirrors, reflecting our hopes, our fears, and our deepest questions about existence. Among the many patterns humans have discerned, one figure stands out across cultures and ages, Orion, the mighty hunter. His shape is unmistakable, a bold constellation that has inspired tales of heroism, tragedy, and the eternal dance between light and darkness. Tonight, we embark on a journey not just across the night sky, but through time itself, into stories that have shaped civilizations and into the cosmic nursery where new stars are born. This is the story of Greek myths and the Orion Nebula. In the tapestry of Greek mythology, Orion is a figure of legend, larger than life, a giant whose footsteps shook the earth. Born from the earth and gods, he was a creature of power and pride, a hunter unmatched by any mortal or divine being. His story is one of strength and hubris, passion and downfall. Different tales tell different origins. Some say Orion was born when three gods, Zeus, Hermes, and Poseidon, combined their powers and breathed life into the soil. Others claim Poseidon alone fathered him, granting Orion the ability to stride over the sea as easily as over land. He was a hunter who could slay any beast, a figure whose arrogance angered the gods and earth alike. The earth goddess Gaia sent a scorpion to end his reign, a creature as deadly as it was small, capable of piercing Orion's pride and body. Artemis, goddess of the hunt and the moon, loved Orion in some versions, while in others, jealousy and divine trickery led to his untimely death. Regardless of the tale, his legacy was immortalized in the stars. The gods raised him to the sky, forever chasing the Pleiades, forever fleeing the scorpion, a cosmic dance eternal. In Orion's story, we find the complex nature of humanity, strength and weakness, life and death, love and loss. Through his myth, the Greeks sought to explain the patterns in the heavens and the lessons of human existence. But Orion is not solely the myth of the ancient Greeks. His stars have been woven into the stories of many peoples across the globe, each culture finding its own meaning in his familiar shape. To the ancient Egyptians, Orion was Osiris god of the afterlife and rebirth, a figure central to their understanding of death and the promise of new life. The pyramids at Giza align with Orion's belt, symbolically linking the earth to the heavens and the mortal world to the divine. In Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, Orion was seen as a celestial shepherd guiding the flocks of the night. In Polynesian navigation, his stars were vital markers for wayfinding across vast oceans. Indigenous Australian peoples created rich narratives around Orion's figure, integrating it deeply into their cultural lore. This shared recognition reveals something profound about humanity. Despite language, geography, and epoch, we share a universal impulse to connect with the cosmos to see reflections of ourselves in the night sky. Orion thus becomes not only a constellation, but a cultural bridge, a reminder that in the grand tapestry of human history, 
our stories are threads woven together by the light of distant suns. But beneath the surface of myth and legend lies a deeper wonder. Just below Orion's belt, dangling like a sword, lies one of the most remarkable phenomena visible from Earth, the Orion Nebula. At first glance, the nebula looks like a faint, misty patch. Yet through telescopes, it reveals a brilliant cloud of glowing gas and dust, a stellar nursery where new stars ignite. Within this swirling cosmic cloud, gravity pulls together vast amounts of hydrogen and helium. Slowly, these clouds collapse, heating and compressing until nuclear fusion bursts to life in the heart of newborn stars. Jets of gas shoot outward, shaped by magnetic fields and stellar winds. Around some of these infant stars, disks of dust circle like cosmic cradles, the first step in the birth of planets, moons, and possibly life itself. The Orion Nebula is a breathtaking testament to the cycle of creation, a place where the universe continually renews itself, crafting new suns from ancient stardust. Carl Sagan's famous phrase, we are made of star stuff, resonates most deeply here. The very atoms that make up our bodies, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, iron, were once forged in the cores of ancient stars. Stars live and die in cycles. When massive stars reach the end of their life, they explode in supernovae, scattering heavy elements across the cosmos. These elements become the building blocks of new stars, planets, and eventually, life. Every breath you take, every beat of your heart, is a living connection to the stars that once burned brightly in the skies of the past. In the Orion Nebula, we witness this cosmic lineage, a glimpse into our origins and the universal processes that link us all. The light streaming from the Orion Nebula has traveled for over a thousand years before reaching our eyes. This means that when you gaze at this faint glow, you are looking into the past. You see a moment frozen in time, a snapshot of cosmic creation as it was long before our modern world emerged. The stars and nebulae are not just points of light, but time capsules carrying stories from the distant past into our present. In this way, the night sky is a vast museum of history, and every twinkle a whispered message from the universe. Yet nothing in the universe is permanent. The stars that form Orion are in motion, drifting slowly through the galaxy. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in Orion, is a red supergiant nearing the end of its life. Soon, by cosmic standards, it will explode in a supernova, lighting up the night sky with unimaginable brilliance. As time marches on, the shape of Orion will change, fade, and eventually disappear. But the story remains, passed down through generations, renewed in every telling. Myths like Orion remind us that while the stars may shift, the human spirit, our desire to understand, to connect, to dream, endures. Tonight, as you lift your eyes to the heavens, you join an unbroken chain of storytellers and dreamers. You trace the familiar shape of Orion, feel the distant glow of his nebula, and step into a story that is as old as time itself. The sky remembers every tale, every prayer, every whispered hope. So long as we continue to look up, to wonder, to tell our stories, Orion will live on. Not just as a constellation, but as a symbol of humanity's eternal quest for meaning in the vast cosmos. We are star stuff, story stuff, children of light and shadow, forever reaching for the infinite.